So this is the Cartier and Comic Art Showcase, which includes both works of the second years and the first years, and obviously the third years, which is uh, the final year. Um, for the second years, we've got some of their works from um, manga pages to full illustrations to other different types of cartoon styles. In all the years, there's lots of different styles and interests, so you see that in different people's art styles. So for the first years, they've actually done an anthology uh, based off the comic anthology Nelson, where they have a character and they, each, per, each um, student has been given a couple pages to depict a year in the life of that character. This one specifically is called Charlie, and they go through Charlie's life from 1950s to, the, to 2005. And um, each student was given quite a lot of freedom of how to depict the story, how to depict the character. Um, but they, they've done an amazing job, and you can see like from the art style, like their personality and what's important to them and the character. And it's great to see each student's interpretation of that character. Um, this section is for the third years and their final, their final projects. Um, we've got a bunch, we've got lots of different, again, stories and art styles and themes. Um, this one made by Daniel Jones, for example, The Rad Zone, is based off a, is a post-nuclear theme comic, um, sort of survival story, while, uh, well, this one made by Erica Bold, is an angel and demon story where the characters have to go to hell to uh, retrieve some a lost pair of wings. So lots of different themes, lots of different interests. Um, this one, made by Thomas McKenzie, is set in an alternate universe, I believe, um, where robots and aliens are at war. Um, this one, made by Megan, is called The Mosslings. Um, it's based around these, little cre these adorable little creatures um, and how they have to deal with littering and monsters that um, are a danger to themselves. Um, this one, made by Chelsea Perry, is a visual novel based around her characters. Um, it's called I Wanna Be a Supervillain Henchman and um, she, she's worked really hard on it, so it looks really good. <laughs> these are some free stickers made by Charmaine, who are all very funny and very cute. Um, I believe she's done an animatic for her for her um, project. This one by Oakland is um, Thomas Galapathy travels the galaxy and and his friend is set in an alien world and they go on adventures together. Uh, Elliot Cross does a lot of sort of mental metal orientated uh, comics and they're all really cool and he has this very personal art style very individual art style. This one, the main character is given a, a, a guitar that actually lets him time travel. And so he ends up in the Jurassic period faced with <laughs> the T-Rex. Alex Ray has created an adorable children's, a children's book uh, called Sending Chickens to the Moon. Um, she's even got some plushies made and she made this papier-mâché uh, moon all on her own. Uh, and it's an adorable story of um, as she describes it, about how the journey you take with your friends is better than the destination you, cr you reach alone. So it's really sweet and really wholesome. I, I personally really enjoy it. This story by Natalie Hatcroft is um, a silent comic, so there's actually no dialogue in there. And she's made a story about um, Faye, who is reminiscing on old friendships and would like to rekindle those friendships and is able to achieve that with her friend of the cat ghost who was her imaginary friend as a child. This story is, this story is by Desiree, um, where the main character is framed for his best friend's death and falls into another parallel universe where he has to find out what happened, <laughs> basically. Um, she's made lots of stickers, lots of pins, and um, it's a pilot comic, which she wants to turn into a series. Uh, next to that is Toby the Cat Pyre Hunter, made by Jordan Green, which he has made. It's a, it's a, these are the storyboards, but these are, is an actual animation that is fully voice acted and everything. It's really great. I, I, I'm really, I'm really, um, I really like it. <laughs> it's very sweet. Uh, this one is made by Omar, who has these really cool uh, um, 
business cards I haven't seen before. I absolutely love his business cards. And he's print, he's um, cut out all of these himself and his story is based around characters that can control elements and things like that. He's got a very manga style that he does really well. And it, it, he's worked really hard on this. Um, this one is made by Lily. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Deadly Sins um, is a darker take on uh, traditional fairy tale stories. Um, she's got a really beautiful style, it's like really clean, really crisp, and it's very well done. She also has a gorgeous coloring style, the cover's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this one done by Imogen is um, the story of a reporter who's, um, who has to write an article about a discovered lost painting. And actually this one is, the, the painting made by Imogen is actually the one that is actually the, the topic of the story, the painting itself. Um, her art style is gorgeous and it's hand done. So it's really, really pretty. Um, this is by Emily Edwards. Uh, she's got two exhibitions. The main one for her final project is Handsome Jacqueline, which is based around the story of a woman named Jacqueline who wishes to be a pirate, but because of the superstitions at the time that women on a ship were bad luck, she has to disguise herself as, as a man thanks to the help of a sea witch. Um, the cynic is um, Autumn's work. Um, they were inspired by um, ancient Greek mythology and history, I think mainly history, um, and cyberpunk New Age aesthetics. And so they've, they've reimagined um, the Greek historical figures uh, in, into a different timeline. And so you can see like um, taking inspirations from Di Diogenes the Cynic and um, I believe Alexander the Great um, and taking inspirations from uh, artistic depictions and sculptures and such into making um, their own character version of it. Um, this one, Experiment 000, is made by Eva, who was in the computer room. Um, and it's about a girl who's locked in a laboratory and then suddenly she's set free somehow, she's, she escapes and she has to learn about the outside world. And she's got this really cute little acrylic stand, standee of, of the character Luna. And she's worked really hard in the exhibition with really pretty decorations. And this is mine. Um, this one, uh, like Chelsea, I also made a visual novel um, called At His Heel, which is a retelling of the story of Genesis of Jacob and Esau. Um, I, I, I was inspired by desert steampunk aesthetics. Um, so it's a retelling of that story. I thought it I, I just I thought it'd be fun to have <laughs> Jacob wrestling an angel in the desert. That's, uh, I just thought that'd be funny to draw. <laughs> Red Hood by Ash Ingram and Peruvia by Tabitha Fulford. They weren't able to come in unfortunately to set up the exhibitions, but they did some really beautiful illustrations of their covers. Um, Red Hood is a short comic that follows Detective Inspector Wolf. And his, and his adventures of tracking down a serial killer. And Tabitha was uh, inspired by um, stories like Ang the Last Airbender, Moana, and depicted a story of a young boy going on a dangerous adventure to save his village. And last but not least, we have Callum's work, uh, Animality, um, where in a world uh, that, where bombs were set off, the main character, uh, Laura, has to discover how the world has changed, but how also she has changed. So I hope you really enjoyed this walkthrough of our showcase. Um, if you want to find out more about our course, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram under Cartoon and Comic and Cartoon and Comic Arts. Um, so I hope maybe we'll see you soon.